Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I know you're probably thinking that this is the most bizarre setup ever. That's probably because it is. My room upstairs is kind of a mess because I'm getting everything ready to go back to school and it's super overcast and rainy outside. So this is the room with the best lighting. So we're just making do with what we have. But I'm really excited to be back and sharing this video with y'all because it has been a while since I've shared my favorites on my channel. So I've been sharing them in blog post form I think every month aside from last month. So that would have been my April favorites just because graduation got really hectic. So I am back today sharing it in video and blog post form so you can look at either. If you're looking at this on the blog then you'll already see all of the links to the products and why I love them above. But if you're on YouTube then you may need to click show more and I've linked all of the products there for you to shop as well in case you want to check them out. So I'm going to jump into it because I feel like this is going to be a really long video. But my first favorite is a hairbrush. A really overpriced hairbrush, but I have been blown away with how well it works. So this is the Dry Bar Half Pint Brush. They come in multiple sizes. I think there's a smaller version as well as a bigger version that's called the Full Pint. But because my hair is kind of short, I just went with the Half Pint because I figured I could control the brush better when I'm blow drying my hair which is exactly what I use this brush for. It's for blow drying my hair. I had another round brush and I don't know why I thought that I needed to replace it with a more expensive version, but honestly, I'm so glad I did because this brush is amazing. It makes it so that when I dry my hair and I kind of use it, well, <laughs> if you want a tutorial, let me know, but I just wrap it around and then use my blow dryer and kind of angle it down and it makes my hair pretty straight, which my hair is naturally wavy and I usually straighten it in the morning. But I feel like this summer I haven't really been doing it very much. I did do it today. But I haven't been doing it that much because I've had this, which is awesome. So that's my first favorite. It is wonderful. If you want a hairbrush or you need a new hairbrush and you're willing to pay a little bit more, I've been really impressed. I also am like hitting things with this. That's probably not safe. So my next favorite is a new car. I obviously cannot bring that in our office because yeah, that probably wouldn't be good. But I got a new car this month. It was really exciting. I did not think I needed a new car, but my parents so generously decided that for graduation that that was what they were going to give me. So I got a 2017 Toyota RAV4 and it's white and it has black interior and it's really cute. I really like it. The best part is that I can finally play music from my phone through the speakers because my last car I couldn't do that. Been up in the world. I really like it. I've had it for about two, two or three weeks, probably two weeks, and it's pretty great. So my next favorite isn't necessarily this exact product, although I do love this notebook because it is my blog notebook, but just having a blog notebook and having time to write down a bunch of ideas in it. So I've had this. Let's see what the first thing I wrote. I've had this for a year because I have May 2016 blog post ideas on the very first page. So I am up to this point, so I still have a little bit left, and I just write down all my ideas for different posts or things I want to get accomplished, write down different goals I have for blogging or social media strategies I want to implement, just anything related to prepping your stuff and like my brand and social media and blog and YouTube and all of that usually goes in here, but the thing that I realized is that I really only write in it over breaks. So I think that's why I've been loving it again because I finally have time to kind of flesh out my ideas in it. But I'm so excited for all the posts and things to come this summer because there's a lot in here. So definitely stick around. So my next favorite is a pajama set and I just took these out of the dryer. So they're not all organized, but they are so cute. It is this palm leaf print pajama set and the shirt is right here as well, but that's going to be harder to see. And it's by the brand Santa and Abel, and I actually teamed up with them for an Instagram giveaway. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, at Prep and Your Step, go follow. You can multitask and do that. But it's this pajama set, so it's a pair of shorts, and then it is a long sleeve top, which is perfect. Where's the sleeve? Oh, which is perfect for summer, and they're so cute and comfortable. And I'm just a really big fan. So maybe I'll be doing more with this brand in the future because y'all seemed to really enjoy the giveaway and were super responsive to the posts where these were featured. If that's something y'all like, then let me know. I can try to make that happen because I definitely like sharing products I love with y'all, but I also want to have a chance to give those products to you. So 
Wink, wink. Can't actually wink, so I'm not gonna do it. Okay, my next favorite is one that I never thought I would include in a favorites video because this product kind of terrifies me. It is the Saint Tropez Self Tanner, and I got this as a gift. I got this, the knit, and like a smaller version, I guess a travel size version, as a gift when I, what did I do? Oh, I hosted a meetup in Columbia at the Lily store there. So that was really fun, and Lily paired up with Saint Tropez, and there was this whole cute pouch and all that stuff in it. But, side notes aside, I guess, this stuff works really well. I just put some pumps, I guess, on the knit and have followed the instructions that are on the bottle. And I really only do my legs because I feel like it would be more obvious if I did my arms. I just really don't trust myself tanning the lilies, but it works great for your legs. You rinse it off, which is reassuring considering I have yet to leave it on for the whole, I think it's eight hours that it says you can leave it on. Yeah, allow four to eight hours before getting wet and then you're supposed to rinse it off, I think. I don't know. You can read the directions on the bottle. I am no self-tanner pro. Really impressed by this and definitely wanted to include it in case you were looking for a way to get a little bit tanner without being outside or if your weather isn't cooperating like mine. If I can do it, you can do it. My speedy favorite is a mascara. So it is the Lancome, and I took French, so I should know how to say this, but it's Hypnos Drama. I do not want to answer my phone right now. Okay. And it has this really cool tube. You may have seen the last vlog I did where, or maybe it's two vlogs ago, I bought the wrong mascara. This is what I was looking for. It has a cool little brush thing. The only thing is it's really watery at the beginning. So I think I'm going to love this even more than I already do once it starts to dry out a little just because it is a big brush and a lot of product or at least that's what's coming out right now but it does really great things for your lashes and i'm a big fan so next is kind of a random favorite i mean not that random i guess it still fits the whole beauty category but it is teeth whitener i was sent this product but i'm not being paid to talk about it so this is honest but it's called smile brilliant and so this is the whole kit that it came in and i just kept it because i wanted the directions because i didn't want to mess anything up but basically you use a paste that's in the box and you mold it to your teeth and then you send it once it's dry to the company and it comes with a prepackaged label so that's awesome and then you get these little molds of your teeth back so they're like kind of jelly um i don't know what they feel like pretty cool but it comes in a case too wow the lighting changed i'm really sorry y'all but you put some of the product i have a desynthesizing desynthesizing I cannot say this word. Desensitizing version. So this is just the teeth whitener and you can leave it on between 45 minutes and three hours, which seems like a huge time frame to me. But I left it on for about an hour and 10 minutes last night. I did it and I've done it before. Um, I don't do it that frequently, but especially with graduation this past month, I have been trying to whiten my teeth because I knew there were going to be a lot of photo ops. So you take this little thing that looks like a shot and you just put some in a small line across the outside of both of the like trays and then you just put them in and you really can't feel that it's there. It didn't bother my teeth at all. So you do that and then you take them off when you're done um, between the 45 minutes and three hours, I guess, leave that to your discretion. And then you put this desensitizing, de I don't know why that is so hard for me to say, gel in afterwards so that your teeth don't feel irritated or super sensitive to hot or cold so pretty cool although when i opened this i accidentally squirted half of it across my bathroom floor so oops but you can use each of these little syringes for multiple times so like three to four uses if i hadn't you know sprayed that across my bathroom it comes with six so that's pretty awesome I'm excited to keep using this because it hasn't irritated my teeth and I feel like I've seen pretty good results. So, smile brilliant. I'll link it below. Wow, well, this video is already so long. I'm sorry. My next favorite is a nail polish. I love Essie nail polish. I guess I'm pretty brand conscious when it comes to nail polish because I really do prefer Essie over any other brand. But this is the Essie polish in Bikini Sotini and usually in the summer and I guess starting in the spring too. I have Fiji on my nails almost all the time. I don't currently because I went and got them done. But I put this on my toes instead of Fiji, which is like a super cute light pink, and I've been really liking it. So this is a great summer color. Next, we have this highlight. I also think I featured this in a video I did. 
I don't know. You can tell me if I did or not. But it is this Becca highlight in the color Opal. It is a travel size, which is great because I don't use highlight that often. But I did start using it last summer after I got this palette from NARS from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, which I'm really hoping they bring back that palette because it is so great. But this is what it looks like. I only put a little bit like right above my cheekbones, I guess. I don't know much about makeup, but I really like it. And I really like that it's little. It's really cute. So that is that. And the last beauty product and the last thing I talked about on my blog post was this Detox Dry Conditioner by The Dry Bar. Completely suckered myself into purchasing this because when you're waiting in line at Ulta or Sephora and they have all of the cute travel size stuff, I just stand there and look at it and let people go in front of me, which that's a waste of my time and it means that I'm probably going to spend more money. So great marketing on their part, but that's how I wound up with this. I have heard great things about dry bar products. I tried that brush. That was the first product I tried from the dry bar. And so I decided that I've never heard about dry conditioner and I swear by dry shampoo. I love the Batiste dry shampoo. It's my favorite. And I decided to give dry conditioner a try. I have no idea if this really does much for your hair. I mean, like, maybe I've psyched myself into thinking that it looks shinier when I use this. But really, the kicker on this is the smell is amazing. I don't know if this is what I'd smell like if I went to the dry bar, because I've never gone. But sign me up if that's the case, because it smells so good. So basically what you're supposed to do is after dry conditioning, dry conditioning, after dry shampooing, you're supposed to use the dry conditioner. And I really just spray it on the ends of my hair, because I don't really care about the top. I just don't want it to look oily and greasy and gross. So I just spray it at the bottom and it makes me smell like I've showered even if I haven't. So great product. And lastly, a little bonus for all of y'all watching the video since I forgot to include this in the blog post picture, but it's this pair of wedges and you really cannot see what's happening with these wedges currently. Is that how they work? Yeah. So these are by Vince Camuto. I wore them for graduation and I think I wore them to every event revolving around graduation because they are that comfortable and they match everything. So it's kind of like a double, it's really hard to show you. It wraps this strap there and then it crosses in the back and wraps around your ankle as well. So it almost wraps twice in the back, but I really like the way they look. I was a little hesitant about the fact that the bottom was different, but all in all, I've really been loving these wedges. They're so comfortable and I know that I can wear them pretty much all year long. I don't really wear wedges in the winter, so any season that you would wear wedges, you can wear these because they're great neutral. So this is your little bonus favorite for watching the video, so that's exciting. And they're also on sale currently at Nordstrom, so if you're interested in giving them a try, even if you may not want to keep them, Nordstrom has great free shipping and free returns and they're on sale. So it's kind of a no-brainer. So that is everything in my May favorites. May, right? Yeah. My May favorites. So I hope you'll enjoy. I was really rambly, but that's just kind of what happens when you tell me to sit down and talk about things that I've been loving. I'm going to ramble. So if you did like this video and you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and comment down below some questions you want me to answer for a question and answer video, and also some different ideas that you may have for videos that you want to see from me. I will try to continue to do some vlogs because I know that y'all have been really loving those, but other than that, I'd love to know what sort of content you'd want to see. And if you're happening to watch this within the blog post, I have a question for y'all to answer below and that's for you to tell me what your favorite post that I've done this month was because I think that'd be a really fun way to see what y'all have been interested in and what you want to see more of. So go ahead and answer those questions for me. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to know when I post more videos, definitely subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll talk to y'all soon.